Matthew 23, verse 5, it, Jesus is speaking now of the Pharisees. He says, but all their works they do for to be seen of men. They make broad their phylacteries. They enlarge the borders of their garments. They love the uppermost rooms at feasts and the chief seats in the synagogues and greetings in the markets and to be called men by, of men, rabbi, rabbi. These men look like they love God, but they really love themselves. And they go through all of these uh, uh, rituals and all of these laws and all of this stuff so that they can prove to the people that they love God. But really, Jesus is discerning their love. They don't love God. They love themselves. They love the position it puts them in, the esteem that they get from people and the respect. That's what they're loving. And, and unfortunately and sadly, this is what religion is really like. People are religious for all kinds of reasons, amen, but, but the, the number one reason for religion is that people love themselves because it serves them somehow. Their religion is serving them somehow, and whatever they get out of it, amen, either clear from a guilty conscience or respect from somebody or love from a family member, whatever reason, they'll dive into religion, amen, and this religion, amen, looks like they love God, but really they love themselves. This is why no matter how much you show the truth of the word to people, they won't leave their religion. Because to relieve their religion would cause a personal sacrifice. They would have to sacrifice themselves to leave their tradition. And in leaving the tradition, they would lose association. They would lose respect. They would look bad in the eyes of people. They would look like a heretic or you're following a false prophet or, or you're mixed up with a cult. You're, you're this, you're that, you're the other. And people won't leave the religion because the religion is serving self. No matter how much you show baptism in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ right out of the word, no matter how much you show them, amen, that the Trinitarian idea is wrong, no matter how much you show by the word, they can see it, amen, they will agree with you, and then when they go to their pastor or go to their church and they're going to be rejected for that word, they reject the word and stay with the religion. It's a perverted love. Loving God with a perverted love. But a pure love would say, if that's the truth, if that's the truth, if that's what God said, amen, if that's what God wants and that's what God requires, where can I get baptized? Amen. All oh, friends forsake you. Your church think you've gone off the deep end. They no longer consider you a Christian. They no longer consider you in the way of truth. They've lost respect. Co-workers lose respect. But it doesn't matter because the recipient of my love is worth my personal sacrifice. It's worth me losing my reputation, losing my association, losing everything because the recipient of my love is worth my sacrifice. But if we're not willing to become the sacrifice, then we don't love the object of our love, we love ourselves. It's boomerang love. I only give love because I want love. 